total sales for 30 December 2020 so we have all the information that we need but sales is missing and we need to calculate the sales so we will draw up your trade receivables or your debtors account and we will put in all the information and then from there we will calculate the sales so Josephine owns a clothing boutique in town, Classy Fashion CC. Sales comprise of your credit and your cash sales. So we have both credit and your cash sales. Josephine has been out of town and has requested you to report the sales for 30th of December 2020. So balance at 30 December 2020 is 3700 so this will be your opening balance and the reason why it will be your opening balance is at the end of november we had 3700 meaning at the beginning of december that will be your opening balance so your opening balance for the current month will always be your closing balance for the previous month then your balance at 30 december 2020 meaning the closing balance is 6,900 what we have left then the additional information is we have the receipts from debtors so they paid off their account so this is bank and discount allowed 300 and your cash sales of 3,200 so now we will have to add in that information so we have your opening balance which is on the 1st of December 2020 all right opening balance And our opening balance is 3700 Then we have your closing balance of 6900 So you don't have to write opening balance. You can just write your 30 December balance 6900 then we start with the receipts from debtors amounts to 600 so this is money received from our debtors we we'll just say bank so it can be cash it depends but we will just stick with bank so we write their bank and we received 600 so the reason why we put it on the credit side is because we do not have as many debtors anymore. People are paying off their debt. So this asset account decreases and assets will always decrease on the credit side. So just go back to the debit and credit video for an in-depth explanation. Then we have discount allowed $300. So discount allowed will be treated the same as your bank. $300. Write it in full. Then we have your cash sales of $3,200. So we will not add your cash sales in this account because it's cash sales. They are not credit sales. So we only add sales that have been made on credit. So now we close off your account. So if we add all of this, let's add, if we add the credit side and the debit side, we need to put in the blocks the amounts that are the largest either the debit or the credit side so your credit is the large largest with 7800 so we add that then your 7800 minus your 3700 gives us your missing information which is your 4100 and we will that will be your sales okay so it it will always balance so we need to find out the amount that makes it to balance because it was not balancing so the missing amount will be your sales so now they ask for your total your total sales so your total sales will be your credit sales plus your cash sales so your credit sales that we just calculated is your 4100 plus your cash sales which is your 3200 and then your total sales will be 7300 
that's it please subscribe for more videos and good luck